Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look at this boat. Look at this boat. Yo! <laughs> hey, happy birthday! Save me a drink! Man, I love this place. <laughs> okay, since I got you guys alone for a second, you know, I thought today we would take the time to address a question that I've been getting asked a lot. How do I make my videos? So how about we get the day started? I'm gonna get dressed and perfect time because I'm starting to hear somebody wake up, so. Okay, now, quick side note, I just do wanna say that gear really doesn't matter. I wanna throw that out there before I even get into like the gear and how I make my videos. Gear does not matter. Then if you wanna upgrade anything, upgrade audio first. That's like my golden rule, audio first. Hey, look, I'm just gonna say, don't be looking confused if I pull up at your spot on that. <laughs> okay, so it is almost nap time for Camden. I did want to say that I am filming on the DJI Action 2, just because the Action 2, man, it, 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 it's good. The reason I like these small cameras is because they don't get in the way too much as like my Sony would. Believe it or not, Pippin, but sometimes it's a little awkward to be out and about making money moves and vlogs with a big old camera. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If you parked your bike right here in my spot, you will bike in my spot. Like pimping. Y'all better tell them. They can actually see me working from there. They can they can see me through recording. <laughs> so now for real though, since I do get asked that a lot, like what I film with, what my drip is. Another question that I get asked like a lot is how I actually make my videos, like how I shoot them to how I edit. I think it'll be a good idea to just kind of combine the video and talk about both. Hold on, hold up, because I almost forgot. But we definitely gotta give a huge shout out to today's coffee sponsor, and that is Big Pippin Jeff T. Jeff T, thank you so much for the coffee. And Pippin, if you wanna buy me a coffee, don't be shy. The link is down below. And now let's get back into the sauce and talk drip. Now I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because I ain't trying to waste y'all time. I know how y'all are, and I know that y'all a bunch of ninjas, and y'all got things to do. So Pippin, let's hop right into what drip I use. Starting off with the main camera, which is the Sony A7S III. And with the Sony A7S III, I am using the 17 to 28 millimeter Tamron lens. Now I have the Sony 16 to 35 millimeter, but it's a bit heavy. It works with the gimbal, it works totally fine. But I have the F4 and this is F2.8. And now when I first got the Sony A7S III, I did buy it, it, it was pretty pricey, going for about $4,000, taxes included. while the Tamron lens was going for about 550, 600. And then to keep the footprint as small as possible, I also have the Sony mic. I don't know what the name of it is. And to be honest, this is probably the best microphone I've ever, like shotgun microphone I've ever used. I don't, I don't know what this mic is called. It's small, it's light, and there are no cables, like none. That's so again, I keep the footprint as small as possible. And now as for the tripod, I actually don't really use a tripod. I'm actually rocking the Hue and Crane M3 gimbal. And now y'all already know, I do have a condition called buttery smooth toast. So yes, Pimpin', I do love smooth foot. And if I'm honest, the Crane M3 is probably the best gimbal I have ever really used. It's small, it's light, I can travel with it, and it holds my Sony a7S III like perfect. So yes, Pimpin', that is the main drip. And honestly, I'm actually thinking about getting a whole nother setup, the exact same, like, the exact same everything. Y'all already know, I'm looking for studio space, preferably that boat. So y'all already know, when I cop that boat, I'm gonna be stunting on all my hate. But yes, Pimpin', in the future, I will be getting the exact same setup, most likely. I was thinking about getting the Canon R5, but I'll have to wait and see for the most part though, it's looking like I'm gonna get the exact same setup for my future studio. This way I can use the same lenses and when I walk into the studio, I have something already set up besides my vlog. Plus, it is just always good to have a backup. 
<laughs> and now in terms of other drip, I mainly used the DJI Pocket 2 and still the DJI Action 2. It was gonna be the Osmo Action 3, but y'all y'all already, if you don't know, just watch the last video. Like, bottom line, it's, it looks out of focus. And now the only reason I don't use a GoPro on like the regular basis is because it doesn't shoot well when I'm like walking inside of a place or if I'm indoors or just in certain situations that I need. When it comes to shooting on a bright sunny day and just shooting B-roll though, it is amazing. Like it is good. But if I'm out and I want to keep my backpack as light as possible, I'm going for the Pocket 2 and the DJI Action 2. Like I rarely ever use my GoPro and that's just because, yeah, it's just... I can get such good footage out of this. I can walk into a place and not even worry about it. Plus, this is on that magnet game. Like, Pippin, get on my level. And I do wish the Osmo Action 3 was like on par with the Action 2, but like I said in the last video, it's not, and that that kind of sucks. I mean, at the moment, it's not. I mean, there could be an update, but the image quality is, I, I just don't like the autofocus look. Like, I had the same problem with the One R. I had the exact same problem with the Insta360 One R one inch mod. Like. It was just out of my whole, my face was always out of focus. And yeah, I just don't have time for it. I just, I'm a boss. I got things to do. My last piece of drip that I do have on me all the time is my cell phone, my iPhone 13 Pro. Now I was thinking about upgrading to the iPhone 14 Pro, but it's exactly the same as 13 Pro. I don't care what nobody say. Like there is no, when it comes to video, like there's no, there's no reason for me to update. Now as for computers, as well as what I use to edit, for the vlogs I'm mainly using the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And since the other channel is a bit heavy on like the processing, I'm using the MacBook Pro 16 inch. And now when it comes to editing, I am editing everything in Final Cut Pro and sometimes actually my phone using video leak. I also sometimes use the iPad with LumaFusion, but for the most part, my phone can get the job done as well. And now filming and editing kind of go hand in hand with me just because of the way that I love to make my video. I don't really script the videos. I do have bullet points, but I do not script. For the most part, I, yeah, I don't script them unless I think of a joke that goes with a bullet. I'll go ahead and write it down because I know I'll forget. When it comes to editing, I actually edit to sound. I found for me and making these reviews as well as vlogs, I found that editing to sound actually is the fastest way for me to get these videos done. Yo, how you doing, man? And the main reason I think that it's the fastest way for me to edit my videos is because I actually move the camera around a lot. And every time I move that camera around, there's a space in the timeline. Actually, I should say the clip because I can actually see the audio waves in each clip. And for the most part, every time I move the camera, there is no sound. And that's pretty much how I know when and where to cut. So for example, the camera is here on my right side. I'm gonna pick up the camera, and move it over to my left side for like the next sentence and I know that in between that space there's no sound because I'm usually not talking when I'm moving the camera and this by far has been the fastest way for me to edit especially with my editing style since I'm like all over and now if I'm rushing to get a video out another way that I like to edit is to actually edit backwards because believe it or not I mess up like a lot and generally speaking I know that the last cut was probably the best one so when it comes to the talking head stuff I know that editing backwards might be the best Best way to go especially if I know that I was thrown off a lot or a lot of noise was happening or people coming up to me I know that the last take was probably the best one <laughs> and then as for structure and storytelling I usually go with hive and it's like spelled like a beehive basically meaning hook intro value and then the end and I do try my best to stick to that structure just because it's the best way for me to tell a story as well as showing footage or b-roll of me like actually working the scene but it is a lot of work and that's okay because I I love it. I love the filming, I love the editing, I, I love being on camera, like y'all see it, I be turned up. Like for real, this is one of my favorite things to do. By this place there's a guy here who always comes out and be like hey my favorite american youtuber <laughs> I'm telling y'all man i'm getting a tesla at 500k like it's happening and now something that i do want to get better about doing is carrying my camera all the time because yeah i i shoot a lot like for real like a lot pimpin i just want to make more videos <laughs> 
But yeah, Pimpin, that is it. That's pretty much how I make my videos and what gear I use. Huge shout out to everybody who bought me a coffee. And if you want to buy me a coffee, Pimpin, don't be shy. The link is down below. It is time for me to head home because it is my night to make dinner. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>